Hi, I'm Leslie Bowery with Winchester Parks and Rec, and today we have Belinda Pugh from Winchester, Virginia, that's here today to talk about trees. Um, how did you get started with the Adopt-a-Tree program? Well, in uh, January of 2019, I was accepted into the Insight program that's sponsored by the city of Winchester. I was born and raised here in Winchester, but I was gone for 50 years, and so I realized I really didn't know that much about the city. And so through the program, I was introduced to the Adopt-a-Tree program that's available here at the park. Are you an arborist by profession? Oh, mercy no. I just very much respect the trees. I'm a librarian by profession, and um, so the the 50 years that I was gone from Winchester was being involved as a librarian. I uh, was with the Department of Defense, and so I lived in um, Germany, Italy, Cuba, Japan, and Okinawa. And uh, while I was in Japan, they um, introduced me to the philosophy of Shinto. And Shinto is very much involved with respecting all things nature. And they realized that we wouldn't be here without Mother Nature. And so trees uh, were very important to them and it got to me thinking about um, what I could do to help contribute to the earth. So what is your mission with the Adopt-a-Tree program here in Winchester? Well, my mission is to plant as many trees as I can with the years that I have left because I think that um, when you think about the photosynthesis, trees and other plants absorb the carbon dioxide. You know, the problems that we've had with uh, Earth science and all of the disasters that have gone on and so trees are really going to provide a lot of um, natural atmospheric exchange cycle they absorb um, a ton of carbon dioxide during its lifetime so i think that um, trees and keeping them planted and ensuring that we have a green space everywhere is going to be crucial for our future generations. So have you had trees planted here at the park? I have. This is my tree that I had planted last year on the occasion of my advancing age. <laughs> I was 70 last year and so I planted this tree and then uh, recently I planted a um, tree for a cousin that uh, sadly passed away this year. And so um, I would like to have a tree planted for every relative or friend, but I don't know, there's a lot of friends and relatives in the area. I don't know if there's enough space for all of that, but um, I would like to plant as many trees as I possibly can. Have you had any connections with planting trees overseas? I have, I had a wonderful friend named Shoko while I was in Japan. We taught English together and um, so when I was leaving and coming back to Virginia we had a tree planting ceremony in her garden. She planted a dogwood tree in honor of my state of Virginia and she planted a cherry tree which is the national tree for Japan. And so I still have friends there and they send me progress reports every year about how the trees are growing, how they're blooming, and they're just doing wonderfully well. And uh, another thing that the Japanese believe in is that as long as someone says your name, you will not be forgotten. And so I know that at least once a year, <laughs> they say, oh, this is the tree from Bel for Belinda-san. And so I won't be forgotten over there. <laughs> okay, Belinda, you said you had a thought of creating a longer legacy. Yes, um, as a librarian, you know, I have a lot of time to read and to think. And so one day I just thought, how could I 
have a longer legacy on this earth because our time is very limited. And so I found out that you can buy a biodegradable urn and you could put a tree in that urn, plant it, and then the tree will grow. And so I decided years ago that I would donate my body to science. And so after they harvest organs and skin and bone and whatever, all of the rest is cremated. So my cremains would come back to Virginia here in Winchester and hopefully my sisters will remember to take those cremains and sprinkle it on this tree which will help the tree to grow. Eventually the tree then would be harvested. It could be cut down, made into paper. The paper then could make the pages of a book and I could be sitting on a library shelf someday. Lovely. Um, if you have any other questions about the Adopt-a-Tree program, uh, please contact us here at uh, Winchester Parks and Rec or at the City of Winchester.